Uh, for sure, it's still like for me, perhaps the biggest race in the world. So it's like, yeah, of course. I now that I'm here, it's a, it's an amazing opportunity. Yeah. It's the sickest race of the year, man. Well, there was a tractor and uh, I couldn't unclip and I fell off, basically. <laughs> Very formal. Who's, who's the greatest rider I've ever ridden with? Uh, Christian Knees. <laughs> Ian, will be, what is key? I don't know. Suffering. Suffering? You've got to love riding on the cobblestones. You've got to be able to suffer and hurt and just enjoy that. Maybe I think the first sectors weren't so bad. I got maybe like, oh, this isn't so bad. But then I hit Ehrenberg Forest. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, this is uh, quite rough. We have a couple of young guys. OK, AJ is doing it the first time, really excited. But he's here to learn for his future. It's not only only good to, to learn those those races, conditionings, conditionings when you want, want to win Roubaix later on. With Big Ben and Josh, we have two guys. They are like... Um, good legs at the moment, they are in a good shape. Um, obviously still early in their careers, so they also need to learn and you learn uh, by doing those races as well. If Connor's has a good result and uh, Josh as well, I think they're you know, good ones for us. And obviously the new addition, which is news to me very soon, if he can triple it with the top on uh, Sunday for the pros, that'd be uh, Trebon. Hey baby. Everyone looking forward to it? Yeah. Excellent. So, there's the quote. Champions keep playing until they get it right. So let's go back out there with loads of intent against guys. You know, Flanders, Josh, you're super strong. Ben, you can see you buzzing around the hotel all day. Go out. Let's roll on from what we did in the uh, first classics. You guys are all us in. You know, the weather and all this sh plays into your hands a lot more. I think like best memory of Roubaix as a kid is like seeing Museo there caped in mud like, in the race and probably one of my earliest memories and then yeah I guess getting third in Roubaix was pretty alright. Uh, for sure it's still like a race that I would always like I was always loving watching it on TV and it's just for me perhaps the biggest race in the world so it's like yeah of course I, now that I'm here it's a it's an amazing opportunity yeah. It's the uh, sickest race of the year man. It's um, everybody wants to win it. Um, it's the hardest race of the year, like on your body. Might not be the most like hilliest or whatever, but everyone's sore at the end. The only person that enjoys it is uh, the winner. With 12 different winners in the last 12 years, the hell of the North is still just as hard to tame. Welcome to Paris-Roubaix. This year, again, for the 121st edition, it's difficult to predict who will take this monument. The route is epic, 
and today the weather conditions could play a big role. And then the cobbles we did the recon on Thursday just tell the people out there how like in which conditions were the cobbles when we did the it, recon. It, it was an epic recon to be fair it was muddy it was wet the cobbles were flooded but the last few days have been windy and it's also been pretty warm so uh, so then I hope you're watching and see you out there. I mean, uh, once I made it through Ehrenberg, I knew it was slightly easier, but oh, it's never easy. See why I take that name, Hell of a North, even though that's maybe not where it originally comes from, but uh, yeah, that was someone else's one. So. Yeah, it, it was nuts really, and once I'm, I'm glad that I got past that first section and into the front, and um, then it was, uh, yeah, about, about trying to do the best I could, but at the end of the day, no, that was kind of kind of as much as I had. When the absolute power is, is not there, it's uh, and then my hands are in, are in bits. So. Uh, what were we it, it was, it was a difficult day. You know, we had Josh and Elia crash. Didn't look great to in an ambulance. So you got that in your head, and then um, and Shane, I don't know Josh disqualification. Tom late inclusion. It's a further weight for the climbs, and um, yeah, respect for him to get out there and want to race a race like we bait. The group here, riders and staff, have you enjoyed it? Have you enjoyed them? Honestly, <laughs> it's good, really good group. Uh, it's been great fun and uh, yeah, on to the Ardennes.